नमस्ते डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टाइम सेशन सिक्स ऑफ मॉड्यूल थ्री सो इन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्टडी स्टेट एरर्स एंड एरर कांस्टेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फीडबैक कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स नाउ कमिंग टू द आउटलाइन ऑफ माय प्रेजेंटेशन टुडे आई थिंक द फर्स्ट फाइव टॉपिक्स हैज बीन डिस्कस्ड इन द last five sessions and in today's session we shall discuss about steady state errors and error constant which is one of the important concept that we are supposed to understand with respect to any system because when we try to analyze any one of the system the major problem that we come across is the errors in the result so it is always uh, necessary that we need to take necessary measurements to avoid the errors that can occur due to the malfunctioning of the elements or due to external factors so we will now check what are the types of the errors that we can come across when we give any input for a second order system so we'll try to analyze the steady state error for the system using different types of input in today's session now coming to the introduction part so as i told any control system inherently suffers from steady state errors in response to certain type of input that is what i told you when some kind of input is given there is a chances that due to some malfunctioning you may have some errors in your result okay so these systems may have a no steady state error to a step input but the same system may exhibit a non zero steady state error to a ramp input that means the error what we are going to get from a system varies from input to input right so if uh, there is no error for one input for example for steady state error uh, input if your system is not giving any error for another type of input like ramp or parabolic signal there may be a chances of errors that may occur during the analysis so um whether a given system will exhibit a steady state error for a given type of the input or it may not give an error it basically depends upon the type of the open loop transfer function of the system so the basic occurrence of a steady state error in for any system it is basically determined by the transfer function of that particular system so we'll analyze how the steady state errors can be evaluated from from the open loop transfer function in the upcoming slides basically when we consider the classification of any control systems control systems may be classified according to their ability to follow the step inputs ramp inputs parabolic inputs and other type of the inputs which we may give for a system and also the magnitude of the steady state error due to these individual inputs are indicative of the goodness of the system or performance of the system now let us consider a unity feedback control system with the open loop transfer function which is given as g of s is equal to so this is the open loop transfer function what i have which is given as g of s is equal to k into t a s plus 1 t b plus 1 extra up to t m s plus 1 divided by s to the power n t1 s plus 1 t2 s plus 1 etc up to t p t p s plus 1 okay so here the denominator gives you the location of poles and numerator gives you the location of zeros as we have understood and k is considered to be the gain of the system and t is considered to be the time constant right so this transfer function it involves the term s to the power n in the denominator which represents the n poles at the origin so this term that is s to the power n it indicates the number of poles that we can have in the denominator right now similarly we can classify the systems as type 0 type 1 type 2 system based on this capital n value that is number of poles which we have in the origin based on that we can classify the system as type 0 type 1 and type 2 for example if i do not have any pole at the origin then it is considered to be type 0 system with n as equal to 0 and similarly if i have one pole at the origin if this n is 1 it indicates that you have one pole at the origin then it is considered as type 1 system similarly if i have two poles at the origin uh, which indicates that n is equal to 2 it is considered to be type 2 type 3 and so on so we are classifying this uh, systems as type 1 type 2 type 3 based on the capital n value So I hope this concept is clear. So this you need to remember.
because we will be dealing with these type of the systems in the next, next upcoming slides now as the type number is increased the accuracy also improves okay this is one thing what you need to know but however increasing the type of the number aggravates the stability of the system or disturbs the stability of the system so we need to have a compromise between steady state accuracy and relative stability of the system this is one thing what we need to know so we cannot just go on increasing the n value so that uh, we are going to achieve more accuracy no that is also not possible and we can also uh, cannot uh, decrease the type of the system so that i can increase the stability so we need to have a compromising relationship between the steady state accuracy and stability of the system this is one thing what we need to take care so we should have a compromising relationship between type and stability of the system now coming to steady state errors of an unity feedback system we'll try to analyze the stability for this now let us consider a system which is shown in the figure so here as you can see r of s is your input right so e is the error signal so this is your error signal and g is your open loop transfer function and c is your output h of s here is considered to be unity because it's an unity feedback control system i have taken h of s to be as equal to 1 right now for these type of system the open loop transfer function is g of s and the closed loop transfer function is given as c of s by r of s is equal to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s because h of s is 1 so this is the closed loop transfer function what i am taking for an unity feedback system to analyze the steady state errors of the system so let's evaluate the e of s value for this type of a system in the next slide now here let's analyze the steady state error for a unity feedback system as told now as we know when we simplify the transfer function the error signal e of s right the transfer function and the error signal e of s when we correlate we can take e of s by r of s as equal to 1 divided by 1 plus g of s this is because see if you can observe here i'll just draw and show you this is your error detector signal right so you're taking here this is your okay i have my r of s here this is your error detector output is taken as e correct now we need to get an expression for e of s so r of s is this input and h of s is 1 so you you have a feedback from here <clears throat> so g of s is fed as here this is your g of s because h of s is 1 correct so e of s is nothing but equal to what the difference value which we are going to take correct so when we simplify for this you are going to get e of s by r of s as nothing but equal to 1 divided by 1 plus g of s so this is the error signal that we are going to get for the system so using this particular expression we can find the e of t value for a system so let's see how we can do this now using the final value theorem we will try to evaluate the error signal value here okay so since you have e of s by r of s as equal to 1 plus g of s if i cross multiply my r of s here you can observe this e of s can be written as equal to 1 divided by 1 plus g of s into r of s so the final value theorem actually it provides a convenient way to find the steady state error performance of any stable system which we'll be applying it now right so let's take the steady state error by using the final value theorem which states that ESS that is steady state error E represents error SS represents steady state so steady state error is symbolically represented as ESS and this is taken as equal to limit t tending to infinity E of t okay now if I take this into a Laplace domain by applying Laplace transform I can write this expression as equal to limit s tending to 0 of s into e of s this is nothing but the statement of your final value theorem laplace final value theorem now according to this if i write my expression so my steady state error can be written as equal to this 
value that is limit s tending to 1 s into r of s divided by 1 plus g of s now this is the expression what we have for the steady state error now we will try to find out the steady state error for different inputs that is for different value of r of s yes, that is what is our task now right i hope this is clear now let's find the error for different inputs now the static error constants what we have for a system okay so they are nothing but the figure of merit of the control system so higher these constant values the smaller will be your steady state error also for a given system the output may be uh, usually considered as a velocity pressure temperature position and so on right so we shall uh, now consider the output error that we can have for a system by taking position velocity and acceleration right so let's do this now now first error constant that we are evaluating is known as position error constant kp so here input is taken to be an unit step input so the error value that we are going to get for an unit step input it is usually represented as static position error constant and it is denoted as kp so as we know we have the expression for e of s as equal to what limit s tending to 0 of s into r of s divided by 1 plus g of s now since i am taking an unit step input here so since unit step input is taken you can take r of s as equal to 1 by s so i'll take this to be 1 by s so that is why here we are cross multiplying r of s and it is taken as 1 by s now we will try to find out the value for this error constant that is steady state error constant you can observe here that this s and this s is getting cancelled so numerator s and denominator s they will get cancelled and we can get the expression for e s s for a unit step input as equal to 1 divided by 1 plus g of 0 because i am eliminating my limit and i am taking this to be g of 0 so that your position constant kp is nothing but taken as equal to limit s tending to 0 of g of s which is nothing but equal to g of 0 and you can write your steady state error as equal to 1 divided by 1 plus kp so try to remember this expression this is very important kp is nothing but take taken as equal to limit s tending to 0 of g of s okay and i am replacing this g of 0 with kp so that my error constant ess steady state error constant is nothing but taken as equal to 1 divided by 1 plus kp for a unit step input so you need to remember these two expression these two expressions are very important to solve the problems you can get a questions on this now coming to the next part <coughs> that is we will try to evaluate the kp value for type 1 type 0 and type 2 systems now for type 0 system your kp is taken as equal to limit s tending to 0 your open loop transfer function standard open loop transfer function which gives you the value as equal to k see when you replace s yes with 0 here you're going to get kp as equal to k itself similarly for a type 1 system okay so it is taken as limit s tending to 0 k divided by s to the power n n value is 1 so you are going to get the value as k divided by 0 which gives you the value as infinity and similarly for type 2 system also the same thing holds good you will get the kp value as infinity for the type 2 system also correct now coming to the steady state error for these type of systems steady state error for a type 0 system is taken as 1 divided by 1 plus k this expression this is the error for your type 0 and this is the error for your type 1 system ess is equal to 0 because <coughs> your ess is nothing but equal to 1 divided by 1 plus kp so it is 1 divided by 1 plus infinity so all, all of you know that 1 divided by infinity is nothing but equal to 0 so for a type 0 system you have a finite error value but for type 1 or higher system the error rate is going to get become zero that is with kp with position constant kp by taking input as unit step 
now we will take the next type of error constant which is named as static velocity error constant here the steady state error of the system is found using the unit ramp input so for that purpose we are taking e of s as equal to limit s tending to 0 s divided by 1 plus g of s into 1 by s square so when you apply the limits so one of your s here it get cancelled they will get cancelled and you are going to get the value as limit s tending to 0 of 1 divided by s into g of s this is my error value and if i take my static position error constant kv which is defined as kv is equal to limit s tending to 0 of s into g of s by replacing it <coughs> i can write my steady state error ESS as equal to 1 by kv so this is the value that we have for the steady state error with velocity constant kv for an unit ramp input okay. now let's analyze the error value for type 0 and type 1 using kv now for type 0 system we are taking the same expression that is limit s tending to 0 of our open loop transfer function so it is going to give you the value as equal to 0 because in the numerator you have s into k so it becomes 0 for type 1 system we have kv as limit s tending to 0 of s into k your uh, zeros divided by s into your denominator so what happens here is here you will get this s and this s will get cancelled and all these terms are going to become 1 okay this is also 1 this is also 1 and this is also 1 so that you are going to get kv value as equal to k right and when we analyze the error for the system uh, the error value depends upon your kv value and similarly for a higher order system for type 2 system kv becomes infinity so just remember these three values that is kv value for type 0 system is 0 for type 1 system it is k for type 2 system it is infinity now similarly when we substitute for the error value error ess in terms of uh, velocity constant kv is nothing but equal to 1 by kv so it is taken as infinity for type 0 1 by k for type 1 and 0 for type 2 now ne the next part we will take an example of an acceleration constant static acceleration error constant which is represented as ka so this is the steady state error of the system for a parabolic input <coughs> as you know the Laplace transform of a parabolic signal, unit parabolic signal is always taken as 1 by s cube. Now by replacing this 1 by s cube here in place of r of s and simplifying it, you know that this and this will get cancelled, you will get s square here in the denominator so that you can write e s as equal to 1 divided by limit s tending to 0 of s square g of s wherein this is nothing but taken as equal to your acceleration error constant ka so ka is now represented as limit s tending to 0 of s square g of s right and now <coughs> if we write the expression for ess in terms of ka it is taken as 1 by ka right now coming to the value of ka for type 0 system ka is 0 for type 0 by applying the limit and for type 1 system it is also 0 for type 2 system you are going to get a finite value for ka so it is taken as equal to k and for higher order system it becomes infinity so for type 0 type 1 system ka value 0 for type 2 system it is finite value which is nothing but your dc gain ka is infinity for the higher order systems and similarly if we evaluate the error values for the acceleration error constant ess is 0 for type 0 ess is 1 by k for type 2 and ess is 0 for type 3 and this is the table which is showing you the summary of the type of the input and the type of the error values that we can have so for a step input for a type 0 system it is 1 divided by 1 plus k and for ramp input the error value is infinity and for parabolic input also it is infinity for type 1 system we have an uh, output value that is uh, a constant error for ramp input for other two input it is 0 and infinity for type 2 system we are going to get a 
constant error value 1 by k for parabolic input for other two inputs it is 0. So you have to remember this table to find out the steady state error and error constant values for the given system. Okay, now let's take an example and we will understand how to find out the error constant values for a given open loop transfer function. So as you can see in the question, a block diagram is given with an open loop transfer function and you are supposed to evaluate the static error constants and also the expected steady state error for the three inputs that is step, ramp and parabolic input. So g of s is here is given as, this is our g of s value open loop transfer function h of s is 1. Alright, now we will try to find out the constant values and the error values for this open loop transfer function. So let's do it. Now, for the above example, you know that uh, if we can consider it is a type 1 system, if it is s is equal to 1 and if it is a type 0 system, then you will not have any s value but here in the denominator we have e s square so type of the system is 2 so you know that type of a system is nothing but uh, indicate the type of the errors that we can get so okay, here for this particular system since it is a type 2 system we are going to get kp value as infinity kb value as infinity and ka value as equal to 10.4 and ESS is nothing but equal to 1 divided by 1 plus KP which is equal to 0 and in terms of uh, velocity constant it is 1 by KB which is also equal to 0 and in terms of acceleration constant it is 1 by KA so you are going to get the value of 0 0.09 for the above example. Okay, so let's see how we can evaluate it. It is 100 into S plus 2 into S plus 5 by s square into s plus 8 that is what i told you it's a type 2 system because you have the order i mean power of s as equal to 2 here correct so kp is nothing but equal to limit s tending to 0 of g of s so if i replace that here you are going to get kp value as infinity because in the denominator you have s square though you may get value for the other terms since you have s square in the denominator kp becomes infinity and similarly kp is taken as s into g of s so if I multiply s, yes, one of your s will get cancelled, right? So this is going to get cancelled and one s remains here. So since you have one s in the here in the denominator, you are going to get value divided by zero, which gives you the value as infinity again here, right? Now if I consider k a, it is nothing but equal to limit s tending to zero of s square g of s. So if I replace it, this s square and this s square gets cancelled and after that if I replace s with 0, you will get some k value as equal to, here as equal to what, so see here, this is the replacement what I am doing. So wherever you have s, I am putting it as equal to 0, so s square is cancelled, so k value I am getting it as equal to 10.4. This is how we can evaluate the static error constant values and using which we have found out the error values for the system. Now, this is another example wherein a mechanical system is given and its response is also given here. Okay, so we need to determine the value of M, B and K for this particular response curve. So, M so let's take one more example. So, here... A mechanical system was given in the previous slide and we are supposed to find out MBK value using the given response right now uh, using the final value theorem we can take x of infinity to be as limit s tending to 0 of s into x of s so since here um, we have the value of your x of s as an input with a steady state value so you are going to get the x of infinity value as equal to 2 by k which is nothing but equal to 0.1 feet so this is another uh, practical example wherein we will be using the steady state error values in order to evaluate the uh, actual parameter value such as mass spring value and, uh, and the dashboard coefficient and so on So I am ending my session for today. So as we know, today we have discussed about steady state errors and error constant and we have seen 
how we can evaluate the steady state error and error constant value for different types of a system and uh, you know that we are able to analyze the different types of the system based on the uh, number of zeros that we have in the origin so i hope the session was uh, interesting so these are the reference book which you can refer for few more problems and you can solve it thank you all have a nice day jai shri gurudev